Mark points are a quick and temporary waypoint used for target processing and tactical navigation reference. There are 10 mark points in total for use, running 1 through 10. Starting with the simplest to make, on the upfront controller we'll press Mark, and we'll create an overfly mark point, placing a mark on our aircraft's current location. The details of our newly created point show on the UFC immediately, with mark number and coordinates on the display. This is a very handy way to pull coordinates quickly to share verbally over the radio with your flight, or for when acting as a forward air controller when using our targeting bot. We can create mark points from our sensors too, with the air to ground radar or TGP. Cycle the special cursor function OSB bottom left to mark. In the rear seat this can also be achieved by pressing the castle switch left short which cycles between mark and Q. Then with our cursor or reticle over the location we wish to save, press TDC to press in the front seat or hand controller trigger full action in the rear seat. Don't forget it's best to laser range find beforehand with our targeting pod to ensure the accuracy of the point created. Our radar will only show up to the 5 most recently created mark points. You can see our mark points overlaid on the TSD map, represented by a small triangle. When you exceed your 10 mark points they will roll over and start overwriting from number 1 again. With some mark points created we can now make use of them. You can slave the targeting pod onto mark points by simply typing in our mark point with shift 5 for M and the number, and then hit the acquisition source OSB top right to slave our pod onto the location. From here we can move in and engage. Alternatively we could select a mark point for navigation, select the data submenu with data, and then enter it with the scratch pad with shift 5 for M and the number of our point. This will act just like a waypoint with steering cues and data block. Note that simply entering a number will now allow you to select other numbered mark points without re-entering M each time. To return to your normal waypoints, enter the desired point with the appropriate designation, for example, waypoint number and shift 1 for A. Lastly, we can manually define a mark point, create one with USC mark for overfly, and then edit it just like you would a normal waypoint entering the new coordinates. Just remember that it'll still be overwritten, so you might prefer to create a target waypoint instead for new coordinates. Remember that mark point coordinates are subject to our own computer navigation INS, being important to keep your system accurate if you're not operating with GPS coupling, especially if you are sharing coordinates with other aircraft or returning to a mark after a long period of time and or manoeuvring. That's all there is to it, a very handy tool to help you process multiple targets and build a picture by tagging important locations, landmarks, viable targets as you encounter them mid-mission. As of recording on the release build there are a number of concerns or bugs I've encountered to be aware of. The critical issue being, the very first mark point you create will be 0, M0 will not be overwritten, not being part of the 1 to 10 stack. This mark point should not exist, and will be removed at some point in the future. HUD data does not update to reflect the current mark point nav selection, but Symbology does, instead always showing a data block for M0 when a mark point is selected. The Wizard Castle left does not toggle between mark and Q on the TGP, counter to what the manual states page 409, but it does work as expected for the AGR. And lastly, you cannot quick step through mark points like you would with a waypoint. Hope you've enjoyed, and take care.